Hey guys, SB coming at you, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to use PokeGen for your Mac. Yes, usually a Windows-based application, PokeGen, can be used on a Mac with the right application. So, first thing you're gonna need is an emulator, obviously. I'm using OpenEMU, and if you guys don't know what OpenEMU is, I did a little video right here, so go click on it, describes everything you need to know. And if you guys are Mac gamers, you really should have this already, so make sure to check this out. And once you download OpenEMU or whatever emulator you guys have, you want to have the game, obviously, but also you want to have a program called Wine Bottler. I'm going to have that in the description as well. Usually what Wine Bottler does is it's going to open Windows applications onto your Mac so that it can run on the Mac. So what you want to do is you want to launch PokeGen. So I have that in my applications right here. And it's going to ask you if you want to open it up with wine. Definitely, you have to, or else it won't open. And so this is PokeGen right here. I'm not going to do a tutorial of how to use PokeGen. Those are all over the place. This is just to show you how to get PokeGen onto your Mac. So once we have PokeGen up right here, go ahead and launch the game that you want to play. Me, I'm going to be using Volt White 2. It's a ROM hack based off of Pokemon White 2, and it works just the same. So let's get to a place where I can actually open up my party and, you know, just get to all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's winter. <laughs> so we're here. Um, first thing you want to do is... Okay, I should probably explain. <laughs> really, this only works for Open Emu. So if you guys are looking for another workaround for Desmume or something like that, don't continue with this video at all. Stop, go download Open Emu, and then come back. So once you have open emu, you're gonna have the sidebar down here, the bottom bar, whatever you wanna call it. And what you wanna do is save current game. You wanna name it something that you're gonna, uh, you know, easily recognize. So for this one, I'm just gonna do, I don't know, we'll just do PokeGen, just a normal name for whatever. It's easy recognizable. So once you have that, it's gonna be right here in the option for the save state right here. And so once you've done that, Go to File, Open, and then you want to find your save state. So if you guys don't know where OpenEMU is, it's basically in your library's application. Uh, I'll show you guys really, really quick if I can find it. It's even hard for me to, to grab sometimes. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's in Library, Application Support, not Scripts, geez. Application Support. And you want to find Open Emu in your applications. It's right here. Open Emu. And then save states. NDS for the Nintendo DS, obviously. The game. And PokeGen right here is the save state. But now when you click on it, you're going to notice that nothing is there. That's because you need to go down to the file type and go to all files and open up state. Once you click state, hit open. And then it's going to ask you, what game are you playing? We are playing Black White, Black and White 2. Um, it's the ROM hack based off of it, but it's pretty much based off of that. And so, yeah, I, I hardly, have any, I don't really have any Pokemon in my party or whatever. I'm just rocking the ones that I want to uh, train just real quick, just just to get through it. I'm not going to explain myself. And uh, <laughs> what you want to do is type in all the information right here. So say. I want this horsey to be a Kingdra because you need to trade in order to get Kingdra. So let's just say I want to evolve this into a Kingdra and make sure that this is a Kingdra once I set it all up. So what you want to do is, I, I probably should have walked it through. You want to right click and then go to view data. Once you hit view data, all the information on that Pokemon is going to come up. And we're going to change it to a Kingdra. So you need to go into species and type Kingdra, um, did I not spell that right? Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. I can't spell, okay, Kingdra. And uh, nickname, I'm not too big on, and so I'm just gonna leave that blank. But everything I'm gonna keep the same. So we have the main information about it, we met it, all in this good stuff, I don't really care about that. The EVs and IVs are exactly how I want them to be. Attacks, you know, all this stuff you can go through yourself. If this isn't filled up, make sure you hit load from save file, but if it's there, it's there. So it, it already read it. So basically, once you have all that information ready to go, you want to right click it on the Pokemon that you want to change, and then go to set. And as you can see, it has changed it into a Kingdra right there. But we're not done yet. You need to go up to file, 
and then save file. Once you've done that, go back into your emulator, go to the save state, and now, once you open up, you should have your Kingdra. And there it is right there. So you can do this with any Pokemon. Um, look up different Poke Pokegen tutorials on how to actually use it. But if you know how to use it, this is a great way to get it into your Open Emu emulator. And it works with all the DS games and all that stuff. So we can check it out. And there it is. Adamant Nature, Kingdra. One of my favorite Pokemon, by the way. And yeah, I've got all of his moves right there. And if you guys were ever wondering how to do this, I know I was for a long time. And there's no tutorials out there on YouTube as of this moment for it. So hopefully you guys can now Pokegen into Open Emu. So I hope this was helpful and I will catch you guys next time.